Happy Sunday, Hackaday. I'm out here in beautiful Lincoln, Nebraska. My friend Daryl's behind the camera helping me film this. And we're gonna run a quick Pi PPM experiment. So I have Pi PPM set up already, as you can see. The one important thing when you set this up on this very sturdy PVC platform is to make sure that Pi PPM coil is perpendicular to the Earth's magnetic field. So we've already taken a quick measurement on my phone of the Earth's field and it's oriented that direction along this plane. So we've oriented the coil at a right angle to that. What that means is that when the coil polarizes the sample, it's going to be along this axis, which is a 90 degree angle relative to the Earth's field. Finally, we have the cable running down to the Pi PPM device itself, and that's hooked A to a laptop through a USB cable, and to a nice car battery here through just a pair of alligator clips. It's all a bit how you doing, that's okay. Now the car battery is going to supply about 14 volts, uh, which on this 6 ohm-ish coil is going to be about 2 amps. What we do then is we take the polarization away after about 10 seconds and we acquire the data that's coming from the coil through this line and analyze it on the computer. To take any more embarrassing footage of me you want. Sure. <laughs> Better you than me. Exactly. Oh, no way. Okay. So what's going on now? So I've got everything connected up and I'm gonna start my laptop and get it communicating with the Pi PPM over the USB bus. So this is a pretty uh, excellent display of ingenuity. What brought this about? Uh, well, NMR spectroscopist. I love NMR. So why not bring that to the community of hackers that I also love so dearly? That's Pi PPM. All right. Let's see if this works here. a 10 second polarization where the battery is actually sending current through the coil and after 10 seconds disengages yeah it's impossible to see the screen it's it's on there okay we see signal yeah we've got a bunch of noise okay so we've got something before you transform that get a bunch of spikes. The first time I seen it, that's pretty cool. Yeah? So this is the, this is the spectrum with polarization. And what we can do is that. And then I want my P0 P0. So this is just going to record an acquisition without polarization. So what we'll have here is just the background noise level. And if we Fourier transform that, it looks pretty similar. That's because there's a lot of background noise here and we're not doing any filtering. All right, so we have a successful data acquisition. Let's zoom in on this laptop here, and take a look at what we've got. Now, in this environment, we have a lot of background noise. So what we're looking at is two different spectra. One acquisition has been taken with polarization and one without. And the one with polarization has one unique peak, and it's right here around 2245, 2240 hertz. That is our proton signal. So it's what we've acquired from the Pi PPM. It's the water talking to us through nuclear magnetic resonance. That wraps it up. There's not much else to it. Thanks for watching.